Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, here we are in a very peculiar game called Minecraft. Now, this is what I built my project in, and it's very different from the traditional uh, model, as in it's all entirely in this game. Uh, you're just walking around. Everything is made up of blocks, like you see there. I'm sure most of you have heard of this game, but... That's basically what Minecraft is. Now, I, uh, I didn't want to do what everyone else has done, uh, so, so I built this. This very stereotypical French street. You got buildings on both sides, very narrow streets. You can enter the buildings, you know, whatever. Uh, nice tall, nice red roofs with bricks. You got some shops here, just because I think shops are awesome, and everyone should need some shops. Uh, yes. So then you come over here. That's just a byproduct. It sucks, but whatever. Uh, over here you have the lecuri, or the stables. You can hitch up your horse or whatever, and have a drink in the bar. You know, whatever, that's cool. Then you come over here, and you have a very particular building called the Commandant Les Maisons. Uh, this is the commander's house, and you may be thinking, why in God's green earth would you have a commander's house in the middle of France? Uh, I asked myself the same question. So I'm like, hmm, I should build something to go along with this commander's house. So I built a garden. Uh, okay, all joking aside, I did not build a garden. I built something even cooler than a garden. Yes, that's right. I built the French Bastille. Now, the French Bastille is a very symbolic uh, thing of the French Revolution that was tore down, actually. But I rebuilt it for your viewing pleasure. Uh, kitchens. Not really important. Mm-hmm. So... Do we really want to go in this massive, impending structure of doom? Yes. So we got the drawbridge here. Pretty slick. And then off the ground, but whatever. This is the main courtyard of the Bastille. It's very plain, very awesome. Where the prisoners of this once castle turned prison could chillax and enjoy the green grass. And then we come in here. Oh yeah, this is the office building. This split the Bastille pretty much in half. And it holds a few things. Like this uh, interrogation room. Which is pretty cool. Uh, in this tower actually, uh, we have a church. This is the Tour de la Chapelle. It's very nice. You got the pews and then a place for the pastor to stand same difference. We don't want to go over there yet. Uh, yeah, so this is the interrogator room again. And we can go over one more to a uh, a place where the prisoners could hang out and talk to their buddies or you know, whatever. In here we got just a nice common room, the Tour de la Liberté with the Sula Personnel Authorized or authorized personnel only in the Liberty Tower. This is a guard tower, pretty much. Up here, we have guard guard rooms, I guess, where they could sleep in the bunk beds. Pretty cramped, but they could also buy rooms outside of the walls in those buildings that you just saw, or whatever. Um, then we have a library. Actually, when all the prisoners came to the Bastille, all of the books that they brought with them would be confiscated and brought into this library. And in which case, uh, there was, I think, 3,500 books in this library. Now, there's not really enough room for 3,500 books in here, but I had to make some choices. Up here, we have the f one of the first prison cells. It's pretty bright. We got a double bed in this, and then nice general area for activities, if you could say that. So we head back down. Uh, 
we can head into the, um, the public courtyard where prisoners could come and interact with family members and whatnot. We got the tour de corner over there, but that's no problem. We got the grounds, a nice entrance here. Very beautiful. I, I like I like what happened. You can see a street over there with buildings lining it. Yes. So now we can go actually into the walls itself and castle and see all the different areas. Uh, again, the Tour de la Chapelle. Very, uh, very nice. Very God-related. Now we have the one of the prisoner cells, the uh, Tour de Coin, I think, or Corner Tower. Uh, all the cells are very much alike. We got beds and chests for personal belongings. We got the bars. Very, very, very nice in here. And you can see this one has windows. Uh, yeah, gotta know some people to get into that cell. Up here, another cell. Same story, different day. And then we can go up one more into the pento cell, which has two double chests and a differently located bed. And windows, yay. I love windows. So we can head back down and go into another corner tower, the uh, Tour de Puy, or the Well Tower. Now this tower has a well in the bottom of it due to its name, and this supplied water to the uh, Bastille. And then we go above it, we have more cells. Uh, very common. I won't go through all the cells. There's another three levels of cells, but whatever. Hmm. So we come down here again. We're in the public courtyard. I'll just fly up and give you a nice overview of the entire thing. I like it. This is, uh, another thing that I forgot to mention is that this is all one to one scale. So every block you see is one meter wide. So this thing is actually like. If you were to stand in here, this is how tall it would look and everything. Uh, we'll go into the authorized personal only room. In here we have a guard eating area, I guess. Nice, nice area. Up here we just have a common room with a ladder leading to the top. So we can go to the top of the Bastille, walk around here. Look down at the beautiful landscape that is Paris, which can't really see time constraints. I couldn't build all of Paris just to make this one Bastille look amazing. But you deal with what you can, so we'll scoot on over back here. And we'll continue on with the tour. Now down here we have the Lou Amre which is the armory, which is what the uh, the invaders actually wanted to get to because they have things to use, like bows, and guns, and gunpowders. Yes, I know that there's no actual bows being used in this time period, but I have to deal with what I, were, what I have, and all I have is bows and armor. So that's pretty much it. Uh, now we're getting into the Tour de la Bourtendier. Uh, this tower is actually named for a prisoner that was held here. I uh, forget his name, but I know his last name is Bourtendier, obviously. And you can see his cell down here. Very nice cell. You got a sitting table, a bed, and more chests. And then you got a nice walkway here. Up here, there's really nothing. I mean, in the, there, it was in the plan, so I figured oh, I might as well do it. But anyways, this is the Chambre de Enregistrement. I'm terrible at speaking French. Chambre d'Enregistrement, the record room where all of the records of the Bastille's prisoners are held here. Just fun fact, I guess. Um, I think that just about does it for this side of the tower. So we can scoot on down over here. 
escape somehow if we can. There we go. So now we can head into the corner towers over at the entrance way. Over here we have the Tower de la Bassigny, which is named for another famous prisoner that was held here. And again, these cells are all very similar. You got the beds and the chests. This cellule, uh, trois, un, trois a, I guess, whatever. Uh, another similar cell, another similar cell, and the final pento cell, which is different. And it has a window! Joy. Okay, so we head on back down to here. And each one of these has it. It's just another level of cells, I guess. Just another place for people to stay because the Bastille had a capacity to hold just over a hundred prisoners, I think. Now, this is Minecraft, so we don't actually have that room because walls are a meter thick. And in real life, they're not that thick. They're maybe a quarter meter tops. So, again, I had to work with what I was given. So we get over here, we got a nice area, nice pillars, and whatnot. And we come into the Tour de la Comte. Uh, we do not know why this tower is named Tour de la Comte, but it's named that. So, again, very similar uh, cells all the way up. I'm not going to show you them because that's just tedious. But I think there is a passageway. Yes. Um, all of the corner towers are the ones that hold the cells, and there is four cells per corner tower plus another three, so that's 16, 19, that's, we have 20 cells, and I think that's pretty cool. Down here, this is the, uh, I forget what this tower is named, let's just go out and check, the Tour de Tresson, or the Treasury Tower. Uh, we got blocks of gold and iron and diamond down here. You know, just sharing the wealth, I guess. So we can come back up and go all the way up. This is another one of the uh, ladders that leads to the roof or the um, upper levels of the Bastille. So you can see down again and you can see the beautiful Bastion, which is the largest defensive structure for the Bastille and it faced the river to protect it from invaders but little did it know it, it didn't really help when it was attacked by Paris which goes all the way over there and over there but no matter so we can scoot on back down let's come down here uh, we got a nice hallway here through one of the walls into a meeting room for the high-ranking officials and this is where the uh, the commander of the Bastille would be talking to his uh, lead guards about what to do when the uh, civilians revolted against them. So uh, that's pretty sweet. And I think that just about wraps up the overview of the towers and the Bastille itself. So yeah, it looks really gorgeous from the outside at night. Uh, I'll show you pictures from it and on the day, of course, but, you know, whatever. We can show you the Bastion right now, which is a great defensive structure. Um, it's triangular in shape, it's tall, it'll protect from God knows what might want to attack such a beautiful thing. But, whatever, we got a nice building here. It was in the plans, there was no name of it, so it's there, but it's not necessarily the best that it could be. Uh, then we got areas. Prisoners were allowed to walk the grounds at any hour, and they were allowed up on top of the walls. Fun fact, one of the prisoners at the time of the uh, attack of the Bastille was yelling from up on the top of here, about what the uh, civilians should do to get into the Bastille. That was... I found that pretty cool. Um, yeah. So I guess I will stop the video here, and I will resume it in the day. So, uh, I'll see you 
right now.